How do you so do So my it? book that I worked on really, really hard. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. The name of my book is called Jake Bennington, A Story About Friends by J. Dom. Characters. Jake. Marie. Carla. Wolfboy. HBH. Real name Half Bones, Half Banana, or HB for short. Bodie. Evie Hart. Once there was this boy named Jake. He asked this girl named Marie, Do we have to be family to be friends? The girl Marie looked down and looked up at Jake and said, My dog doesn't look like my mom, and he's already family. <laughs> so no! The girl was laughing loudly. And Marie said, We're friends now. Together they became friends, and we're now on the hunt to make more new friends in class. In the class. Marie says, now that we're friends, let's rock out. Jake says, rock out? Marie says, yes. We can pretend to be at a live show. That's what my mom and dad do. They rock out. Well, that's what they call it. But put music on. I play drums with my pencils. You play guitar with your backpack. Let's rock out. Let's rock out, Jake. They both laughed and had so much fun rocking out together and smiles ear to ear with trust building they even told each other secrets but one day Marie didn't show up to class Jake's friend was gone Jake was confused and started asking other people to help her to help him find her Jake went up to us five other kids to help him find her he asked Wolfboy, Carla, HBH, real name, Half Bones, Half Banana, Bodie, and Evie Hart. They said, we don't know her. She isn't our family. Jake remembered what Marie said. Jake said, you don't have to be family to be friends. Help me. Help me find her. She was gone. And Jake said, I miss her. He, he said, wherever she is, I will find her. Then he took a deep breath continue to count to 1 through 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! Come on! He says, come on, help me, guys! They all agreed and wasted no time. Jake said, Project Find Marie on 3! Everyone at once! Project Find Marie! Jake jumped into the crowd with everyone else and it was fun, but not as fun as it used to be with Marie. Jake said, I would love, Jake said, I would love to stay rocking out, but it's not the same without Marie. We are on a mission. Right, guys? Wolfboy, Carla, HBH, real name, half bones, half banana. <laughs> Bodhi and Evie Hart said, right! Or in this case, right! Jake jumped into the playground with everyone else, and it was fun, but not the same as it used to be with Marie. Jake and friends checked every part of the playground. Marie was nowhere to be found. The next morning, Jake decided to go where every kid is scared to go to. The library. Dun dun dun! It was quiet. A little too quiet. You could have heard a pin drop. Jake said, Marie is louder than this. She's not here. Let's move on, everyone. Jake and everyone else walked into a garden. It was hot. It was a hot day, just like Los Angeles. The flowers smelled good. Jake decided to get one for Marie as a small gift since they became friends now and they didn't have to be family. That quote stood with Jake. Jake says, I know I'm closer to finding her. This is her type of place of fun. Even though it was getting dark, Marie told me a secret when I last saw her. It was that the stars watch over us. As I looked up, I knew she was okay. I just needed to find her. Then, all of a sudden, it began to rain. Splash, splash! Jake said, everyone, take cover! They all had to dash away from the falling drops. They found a warm place and went to bed so they could be ready for Project Marie tomorrow. They all woke up deep in the forest. Dark shadows danced around them. Eek! They rushed out of the woods and into the school, classroom, where they all gathered and said hello to Marie for the first time. Jake said, wow, that was very scary, but we did it. Jake screams, Marie! Marie says, hey guys, what's going on? Everyone at the same time says, Marie! Jake misses you a lot and, and has been looking for you everywhere. Marie paused and said, why? <laughs> I just had the sniffles and missed school for a, 
few days. I'm better now. She says, looks like you made more friends, Jake. Marie says, nice to meet you, everyone. Let's rock out. They all took a photo on the last day of school as a memory class of 2002, 2022. Jake wrote on the back of Marie's picture, I'll never forget you. They stayed friends all the way up to high school. No summer was ever as fun as summer of 2022. Jake and Marie got married and had two girls and one boy. They always look back at this class photo and never forgot, you don't have to be family to be friends. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed my storybook that I created. I put a lot of heart, a lot of a lot of hours, a lot of creativity, a little bit of humor. My passion for music, I, I had to put it in there. Um, I c created this whole thing out of nothing, and I hopefully you guys enjoy it. Till next time, later. So if you didn't understand the story or the premise of, of what I was trying to convey in my project is that it's about relationships. It's about friendships, building relationships and understanding that you don't have to be you don't have to be family to be friends. Anybody can be friends with anybody. And even even Marie in the story said, My dog isn't like a family member, but he's he's one of our friends, he's part of us. And and I wanted to make sure that everyone understood in, in my story that I created that it's important to understand the relationships we create with people is the most biggest, most important thing that comes with friendship and those relationships can blossom and grow and sometimes they don't but that's just part of life and I wanted to make sure that this story was about about friendship relationships and real life situations because this could happen and obviously I had a good I had fun doing it I did take a long time to create it it took a lot of creative ideas to be put together to come up with this concept but I, I definitely enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it thank you so much later